Welcome to this InLab Software 15 tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to predefine the settings of the InLab Software 15 according to your individual needs. With the new InLab Software 15, you can now save your own settings under Configurations. Click on the orange arrow and go to Configurations. You can integrate additional programs into the software via the App Center. Make sure that these are already installed on your computer, such as the Partial Framework software. You can manage these here. Under Settings, you have the option of setting up generic machines, from another manufacturer, for example. Click Machine Plus. Assign a name to the device and enter the machine properties, for example, whether it is a 3, 4, or 5-axis machine. To allow the inner lumen to be calculated correctly, you can set the diameter of the smallest instrument and define whether it is shaped cylindrical or spherical. Mark the respective field. To transfer the data directly to your CAM software, you can define the export path to which the restoration data is to be saved. Enter the data path. Confirm your settings by clicking OK to save the generic machine. It can now be selected in the administration menu. Clicking back returns you to the configuration menu. You have the option of hiding materials, so that these are not shown in the software. To do this, click the name of the relevant manufacturer. Here, you can now activate or deactivate materials. You can also select the block sizes that you use in your lab. If, for example, you select zirconium blanks, you can hide the blank heights which you do not use. Then, click OK to confirm. After doing this, only the materials and block sizes that you have preset are available in the work process. You can activate MCXL milling here. Based on the information shown and the serial numbers displayed, you can check whether your device is approved for this setting. Click on this symbol to set the language. You can also export the order database or save it to a desired location via an external path. To do this, click on Search, the relevant memory location, and the required path. Click on the desired target folder and confirm with OK. You can also export the workpiece database. When you are in the milling preview or production step later in the work process, you can save all restorations in this predefined CAM folder. You also have the option of resetting all deactivated warning messages and choosing between ADA or FDI dental notation here. If the software does not automatically detect your scanner and milling machine, you can add them under Devices. To do this, click on Devices. Make sure that all the devices are activated, for example, that the green standby light is on. Then, click on Search for New Devices. Next, confirm by clicking Yes, and the existing machine will be integrated into the software. If the machine is switched on, but an exclamation mark is still lit up on the machine icon in the software, you can hover over this icon with the mouse. You will receive the information that invalid software is installed in the machine. For example, the software on your computer is newer than the software on your machine. To update this, click on the device once and on the button Update Software to install the latest firmware on the device. This allows you to work with different software versions without them being in conflict with each other.
A green check mark then appears indicating that the machine has been fully configured. Click on Back. Clicking on the In EOS X5 scanner allows you to configure the scanner, such as to define the scanning tolerance from standard to very tolerant or very strict. Very strict means that the scanner will only scan an image which is absolutely still. This results in increased scanning accuracy. You can set the model calculation here. With a complete model, the palatal plate is included, and with a reduced model, only the dental arch is shown in the design. The software displays the scan in line with the presettings in the design mode. Should a firmware update be necessary, click here and follow the instructions on the screen to perform the firmware update. Finally, you can save your own parameters here. Click on Parameters and activate the desired indication, for example, Crown. Here you can see the default settings which cannot be modified. To save your own parameter profile, click on Plus. You can now assign a name to your profile and define individual parameters, such as for a dentist or specific material. The spacer that you would like for your indication can also be set. Further parameters can be changed, for example, radial 100, occlusal 120, milling offset, proximal contacts, occlusal contacts, dynamic contacts, minimum wall thicknesses, and edge reinforcements. Confirm with OK in order to be able to select between the default settings and the individually set parameters at the parameter stage during construction. These parameter profiles can be saved for all indications offered by the software. Thank you for watching. We wish you lots of success working with the InLab Software 15.